Luis Campos had a meeting with Nasser al Khelaifi, Paris Saint Germain president in Doha, in Qatar. It was a very positive meeting, I'm told. It was a meeting where Paris Saint Germain started to plan together with Luis Campos, who will be advisor of the president and the head of the football area, to discuss about players, so about new signings, to discuss about contracts of the players at Paris Saint Germain, to discuss about the outgoings, so who's gonna leave Paris Saint Germain, to discuss about the manager, so who will be the manager of the new Paris Saint Germain. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano, here as always together to discuss about transfers, players, managers and many other things, but you know that I love to bring you behind the scenes of the transfer market into the details of this crazy world, of this jungle, uh, the transfer market, and today I want to speak with you about this man. Maybe some of you don't know who he is, but trust me, he's a genius. He's more than a key person in the football world. Luis Campos, Portuguese director of football, head of uh, football area in many top clubs, and now set to sign for Paris Saint-Germain. Who is this man? What's gonna change at PSG? And what he did in his life? Let's jump into it together. And so guys, I'm really happy today to discuss with you about Luis Campos. This man is something special in the football world, because you know that sometimes in football it's so easy to spend big money on top players. Maybe sometimes it's not needed to be a top director or a top president or a top manager to spend big money on a top player. So this is something that in football could be normal. But this man, Luis Campos, built some miracles in football for a long time. He used it to work with uh, Jose Mourinho in the past. He used it to work for Real Madrid. So he has a lot of experience, but he was the director of Monaco when they did the incredible season with the Champions League semi-finals and I want to mention you some of the names I have in my list because it's incredible what this man did for Monaco. One is the K name, of course, the big star, Kylian Mbappé. If Kylian Mbappé was at Monaco and then was sold for big money to Paris Saint-Germain is thanks also, of course, to his qualities, to his skills. But thanks to Luis Campos, who was the man at Monaco, who trusted Kylian Mbappé, who wanted Kylian Mbappé to be the new star of Monaco, and then he became one of the best players in the world. Now an incredible, incredible player. So Mbappé at Monaco was thanks to this man, Luis Campos, who trusted him. But let me mention you some names. Thomas Lemar then sold for big money in Spain. Fabinho sold in the Premier League, was out of nothing joining Monaco and was a top deal from Luis Campos. But also Bernardo Silva. He signed Bernardo Silva on loan with buy option for 14 million euros and then sold him for 65 million euros. A, these players were at Monaco. Imagine what an incredible work he did. And then joining, I can mention many other names, but then he was joining Lille and they won the league. The Ligue 1, just uh, one year and a half ago with Lille, with an incredible job by Luis Campos as director and Galtier as a manager, of course, thanks to the players, some key players like also Nicolas Pepe, who was sold before to uh, Arsenal for crazy money. They paid 10 million euros for him and then he was sold for 80 million euros to Arsenal, but also Victor Osimhen paid 12 million euros and sold for a total value of 75 million euros to Napoli. But Renato Sanchez, he was a player that many clubs were not trusting and then he's been incredible with Lille. Sven Botman, centre-back coming from Herrenven, was a top deal for Lille and now top clubs want him. So incredible, the job by this man, a director of football, Luis Campos, who is able to find top talents, but also to manage important things, has happened with Kylian Mbappé. Because now we remember what happened, of course, between Mbappé, Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid. But Luis Campos was the man who guaranteed big money to Monaco with Kylian Mbappé when he joined Paris Saint-Germain years ago. And now what happens? That Luis Campos had a meeting with Nasser al khelaifi Paris Saint-Germain president in Doha, in Qatar. It was a very positive meeting, I'm told. It was a meeting where Paris Saint-Germain started to plan, together with Luis Campos, who will be advisor of the president and the head of the football area, to discuss about players, so about new signings, to discuss about contracts of the players at Paris Saint-Germain, to discuss about the outgoings, so who's gonna leave Paris Saint-Germain, to discuss about the manager, so who will be the manager of the new Paris Saint-Germain. So after the Mbappé saga completed, this man, Luis Campos, will be the new director, the new face of Paris Saint-Germain project. Leonardo will leave the club and Luis Campos will have a big 
impact internally at Paris Saint-Germain. I always call him like a genius because I mentioned some of the names, guys, but we can spend hours to discuss about Luis Campos and what he did in discovering players in crazy parts of the world and then they became incredible players. I want to mention one more, I forgot, but Rafael Leao at Lille, he was a very good talent, but then with AC Milan, they won the league thanks to Rafa Leao, best player of the Serie A. He was coming from Lille, and the man who trusted him is Luis Campos, again. But also some incredible deal on the market, like Timu Bakayoko from Monaco. He was sold for more than 40 million euros to Chelsea. So a really smart director who is able to change the face of the project and of the club. So Paris Saint-Germain are set to appoint him. Everything is set to be signed. Everything is set to be completed. And Luis Campos will be the new face of Paris Saint-Germain project. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Paris Saint-Germain situation, on this Paris Saint-Germain rebuilding with Campos, and then we will know more in the coming weeks, in the coming days, on the manager, on the players, on the contracts, on the outgoings. So I wait for your comments, as always, here, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you're not going to miss any update during this crazy summer. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and see you soon with Fabrizio Ciao!